video is dedicated to my stepdad, Todd, who loved sunflowers and sunset. Welcome to my garage. I have a lot to share with you with this next project. I just started painting and already I have dirt or something on my forehead. This video is dedicated to my stepdad, Todd, who sadly passed away unexpectedly last March. He loved sunsets, he loved sunrise, and he really loved sunflowers. I loved seeing sunrises and sunsets in Rock Canyon with Todd in Provo, Utah, so this dresser is dedicated to Todd. First thing I always do is thoroughly clean my piece with my Humble Suds and Water concoction. I'm often known to go out in public like this. Welcome to my life. This piece is gonna have a lot of blended color, so I highly recommend you paint a thorough base coat of a solid color before you start. So this dresser I've had in my garage for quite a while now. I removed the hardware, gave it a really good clean. So I did one coat a fire starter. And I'm gonna go over that again. So what I wanna do now is another coat of fire starter on the outside, and then I'm gonna blend in. I just opened this jar of fire starter not that long ago, and honestly, to do the front of this, all of the DIY paint products are really super pigmented. A little goes a long way. Starting with the darkest color on the outside, and then I will begin blending the lighter colors as we go in. So when you're blending, you're going to have a blending brush, which is like your neutral brush. You want to use this to blend the color. So I actually have all of these brushes here. I'd like to keep a ton on because eventually your blending brush gets gooky. It's really important you keep your surface wet. So keep a continuous mister nearby and use only a little bit of paint. Get it wet and use your blending brush to start feathering them together. Less is more and with a little practice, you can blend like a pro. Keep a shop or paper towel nearby and wipe off excess paint. On the outside is the queen bee. Next up is liquid sunshine. I'm repeating the whole process of the water bottle, blending, and wiping off that blending brush. I'm building the colors of a sunset, and my next color is cake batter. It's a really buttery yellow. And time for the brightest part of the sunset. It will be crinoline in the center. This is where light would naturally hit the dresser. So it's going to be beautiful when all of these colors are blended together. I allowed the paint to dry thoroughly and then went over it with a 320 grit sandpaper to totally smooth the paint out. DIY paint is all natural and a clay base, so it won't have a smooth finish, but you can sand it smooth like glass. It's as smooth as porcelain. I'm going to use a 220 grit sandpaper to lightly distress the drawers and give it just a little bit of age and wear. Now for one of Todd's favorite flowers, I'm using IOD Painterly Floras. This is a beautiful transfer with six sheets to choose from. I am placing the transfers in place, then pulling the nonstick paper away. Then I press it down to make sure it's stuck before I burnish it. Each IOD transfer comes with a plastic burnishing stick. Start at one edge of it and gently pull up the paper as you go. It really will stick to smooth finished paint. Once it's adhered, I like to use the plastic paper just to burnish it a little bit more. This transfer comes with leaves and stems, so I'm matching them up to the flower, and then I will add leaves for more detail. I'm gonna add some detail to make this piece shine with DIY paint and gold liquid patina. Just going over the edges, I will add some dark wax too. I love the way this turned out. It has the Painterly Flores IOD transfer here. I did add some gold because I really felt like it made the color pop. I'm gonna finish it up now with some clear wax and possibly just a little bit of dark wax to just add a little bit of shading on the areas where your fingers might normally touch the piece. That's my next step. We'll put the knobs back on. My favorite finish go-to is DIY 100% Natural Clear Wax. It penetrates the paint and really provides a beautiful finish. This is how your painted piece may look after you wax it. We call this the wax freak out factor. That means it's working. The wax is totally penetrating the paint, but it can also make it look translucent again. 
Time for some dark wax and shading. I'm applying this to the edges and places where your fingers might normally touch the piece. If you put too much on, you can always erase it with some clear wax. I like to keep a rag nearby as I do this to wipe off the excess before it dries. Clear wax and DIY dark wax are such a great combination. I'm going over the gold parts and also the transfer because I wanna add a little more depth and age. The wax is dry and I'm ready to buff it. Instead of using a lint-free rag, I am using my favorite Buffy Buffs A Lot brush. Run your hand over the piece after, it should feel as smooth as glass. If you like this video, please subscribe and follow along for more affordable and DIY makeovers.